Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Chomus Biology. This is the good news for all of you that the CSR net has just uh, provided the provisional answer key. Now the difference between a provisional answer key and a final answer key is that there might be some changes in the provisional answer key. So provisional answer key is always subject to change. It is possible that there are some questions which were provided wrong or the options may be close to each other and there is obviously one question this time in December 2023 exam the options are exactly the same. So for those questions they need to reconstitute uh, the mark. So obviously uh, wait for the final answer key but you can get an idea about the marks that you are going to get based on the question you answered. You can calculate your marks and it is always plausible that uh, people who appeared in the exam are always anxious to know about their marks whether they would qualify or not. So here it is for you. I am going to predict the CSI net cutoff from this onwards because obviously after that you will get the final answer key then you will get the, the percentile score list uh, the scorecard then finally you will get the list uh, declared but for now I am going to give you this idea if you calculate your own marks you can easily find out whether you qualify or not based on the, uh, the marks distribution or the cutoff that I have created the expected cutoff for this December 2023 exam. So this is December 2023 cutoff which is little bit higher, I put it little higher than that of the June 2023 because this time's question paper is very good, it's not very tough, not e easy either. So it's somewhere in the middle, so I believe the cutoff will vary something like this. For a general unreserved category it's 99 percentile, approximately 98.9 to 99 percentile should be the value. For EWS category 97.6 percentile, OBC category 96.8 percentile, SC category 92 percentile, ST category 86.8 percentile, PWD category 76 percentile. So this is my cutoff, expected cutoff for December 2023 CSINET Life Science Examination. Although they mention uh, the cutoff in percentage for all the other subjects, but for life science subject they always mention in percentile. I don't know the deal and I always hated the idea. But again as they mentioned in the percentile, so now I declared is in the percentile value. Now what you need to do is basically check your answer uh, key and check C if there is any obvious answer mistakes that they provided. If they provided that you can challenge that with proper references. You need to find a proper reference from peer reviewed books and journals. And you can put that, challenge that question. Although you need to pay some extra fees for that, but you can do that. If it makes any difference in your total marks for qualifying and non-qualifying, you should always try that. Now, as at this moment, you can only calculate the total marks that you are getting. So I can tell you one thing that any marks that is 1, 1, 17 and above has a chance of getting JRF in an unreserved category. And anything, uh, any score that is near about 1, 0, 9 and above can get an LS category uh, for unreserved. For all the other ones, there will be little differences. I already mentioned about uh, what values, what differences that you need to calculate for the other categories already in separate videos. You can watch that. But this is the maximum numbers that we are considering for this CSI net life science exam that is December 2003 life science exam. So if you are getting marks, more than 117, you are kind of sure that you are going to get a uh, life science JRF for unreserved category and 109 and above you are going to get and I think 107 and above actually to get an uh, LS in the unreserved category. That is the difference between the two I believe 117 for JRF, 107 for LS. Now anything can be shorter than that also it's a possibility but I believe the question is good enough people had a good exam. So this is something uh, that you are going to get because people had good part C this time uh, average part B and part A this time so obviously they are going to score more in part C if that is correct. So that is our goal here if you are scoring uh, near this value then you can assume uh, of qualifying the exam but again you need to wait for the final answer key because a lot of things can change you can wait for the percentile calculation the percentile values are also provided. I am uh, now providing you the clear shot so that you can take a screenshot of this and this is just for you for understanding it. So hopefully you got this point and uh, Shomus Biology online coaching registration is going on in full swing and we are going to start the lecture uh, the, the class from 31st uh, January uh, and for that the registration is going on. If you wish to join you can contact us. The details are there in this video. Thank you. Bye.